Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. At any given time, someone in the world is craving K barbecue. At the same time, somebody is probably binging the latest K drama somewhere in the world. Today's Hallyu resurgence puts the spotlight on South Korea and its culture. Korean music, films, and celebrities have been dominating their industries, stealing the hearts and recognition of many. However, what else is there to know about this country? Korea boo or not, watch on to find out. Korea is said to have heavenly origins. According to legends, a descendant of heaven established Korea around 2333 BCE. The name Korea originated from Goryeo, which means high and clear. Babies in South Korea are automatically one year old upon birth. Because of this, a South Korean must be at least 19 years old to vote, drink, or smoke legally in the country. Hallyu is the proper word for the Korean wave. Hallyu refers to the wave of pop culture from South Korea. You may be familiar with it from the way people of different nationalities have formed an avid subculture for Korean cooking, K-pop, K-drama, and Korean streetwear. Kimchi has around 170 varieties. You may love it or hate it, but kimchi is so integral to South Korean cuisine that there's a museum in Seoul dedicated to the fermented dish. Among all its variations, the spicy pacho or Chinese cabbage kimchi is the most popular type. Kimjang is the traditional kimchi practice in South Korea. South Korea has a tradition for the autumn days, where families and villages prepare their winter supply of kimchi. It culminates in an annual Kimjang festival held in Gwangju, a city in the southwest region of the country. Almost every 14th of the month in South Korea has a corresponding romantic-themed holiday. South Koreans celebrate Kiss Day on June 14th, while December 14th is Hug Day. Meanwhile, April 14 is Black Day, where single locals would mourn their singleness by eating jajangmyeon. South Korea consists of over 4,000 islands. It would take a person 9 years to spend a day on each island in South Korea. However, it's worth noting that some of these islands have very different social environments from the country's main cities. Around two-thirds of South Korea used to be covered in forests. However, the long cold winters reared greater fuel needs for the increasing population density of the country. Eventually, the resulting demand for lumber took a toll on the country's forests. South Korea houses the first astronomical laboratory in the world. The Chesongdae Observatory was built at Gyeongju in the mid-600s, making it the first observatory in recorded history. Jinru Soju has been the best-selling liquor in the world for 11 consecutive years. The South Korean distilled rice liquor surpassed Smyrna Vodka in the world records for 11 straight years. Definitely one of the cooler South Korean facts. Over 20% of South Koreans have Kim as their last name. Other common family names in the country are Lee and Park. In Jeju Island, it is traditional for women to work while husbands stay home. These women are also called the Hanyo, or sea women, who dive for abalone, octopus, and sea urchins. Although unorthodox, this 1,500-year-old tradition has been passed down from generations of mothers and daughters. Around 14% of South Korean youths suffer internet addiction. This estimate from the South Korean National Information Agency led to the passing of the shutdown or Cinderella Law. Established in 2011, the law bans people younger than 16 from online game sites. It is compulsory for all South Korean males to undergo military service. One of South Korea's most distinct practices is conscription, or mandatory military enlistment for men between the ages of 18 and 28. Established in 1957, the law's main objective is to deter attacks from the north. Hence, the government requires 21 to 24 months of mandatory military service for men within these ages. South Korea shares a mutual defense treaty with the United States. South Korea and the United States have shared the mutual defense treaty since 1953. As a result, a large contingent of U.S. troops are stationed in the country. 
In South Korea, the Korean script is called Hangul. Hangul has phonetic symbols for 10 vowels and 14 consonants. Meanwhile, North Korea calls the Korean script Joshon Muncha. Historically, this uniform writing system helped the less fortunate achieve literacy. South Korea has free Wi-Fi everywhere. If you're the type of person who can't be away from the internet, you'd never have to worry about it in South Korea. The country offers free connectivity even on the most remote islands. Parasite was the first South Korean film to be nominated for the Oscars. Bong Joon-ho's Parasite made history for bagging three awards at the 2020 Oscars, which is a record high for any film ever nominated. Aside from winning Best Picture, Directing, International Feature Film, and Writing, Parasite was also the first foreign film to win Best Picture in the history of the Oscars. South Korea is home to the largest department store in the world. The Shinsege department store has been standing in Centrum City, Busan since 2009. Spanning a whopping size of 293,900 square meters, it grabbed the title from Macy's flagship store in Herald Square, New York. Figure skater Yuna Kim was the first Korean winner of Olympic figure skating. Also known as Queen Yuna, the Korean athlete made history when she won the gold medal for figure skating at the 2010 Winter Olympics held in Vancouver, Canada. The crane is a good fortune symbol in South Korea. Reaching heights of 5 feet, red crowned cranes are large birds that South Koreans associate with fortune. Eating rice cakes before an exam is good luck in South Korea. Snacks are definitely a struggling student's best friend, but South Korea takes it to another level. Traditionally, South Koreans believe that snacking on rice cakes or Korean hard taffy helps the person stick to what they learned and pass the exam. Koreans believe that crows are unlucky. Throughout different folklores, crows have been considered a bad omen. Crows are attracted to dead bodies, which is why Koreans believe that a crow's caw indicates bad luck. Jeju is the largest island in South Korea. Giant stone statues known as Dol Harubang, or Old Grandfather, line the beaches of Jeju. According to legends, newlywed women that touch the noses of the statues would be blessed with fertility. South Korea celebrates the Harvest Moon Festival. Over 20 million residents travel to their hometowns annually for the Harvest Moon Festival. There, they will visit the graves of their ancestors to bring them gifts like food. South Korea's Mud Festival draws millions of foreigners annually. Throughout the 10 days of the Boryang Mud Festival, tourists and locals can indulge in mud massages, mud marathons, mud wrestling contests, and mud photo contests. Originally, this peculiar festival started in 1998 as a strategy to advertise mud cosmetics. However, it draws in a multitude of tourists to this day. South Korean law enforcement implements crime reenactment. As observed in the movie Miracle in Cell No. 7, police would lead crime suspects to the crime scene and make them reenact the crime publicly. What makes it even more humiliating is the invitation of the media to take footage and publish details about the crime. Red is a lucky color in South Korea. As a symbol of good fortune, the color is usually present in Korean wedding garments. The number 4 is considered unlucky in South Korea. The belief of this unlucky number traces its origin from China. Koreans traditionally fear or avoid the number 4 because the term sounds like the Korean word for death. Giving shoes as a present has a negative meaning in Korea. Bad news for sneakerheads. Giving someone shoes as a gift in South Korea is a big no-no. Traditionally, it sends the message that one significant other will walk away from them using the same shoes. There's a lot more to South Korean culture than what pop culture leads us to believe. If you can admire the surface-level elements of their mainstream, you can definitely spare a deeper look into its rich heritage. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.